Hello everyone. So this episode is about uh, how to take care of a Gerbera daisy. So here I have an exquisite white Gerbera daisy with a black center. So the black and white contrast is beautiful. And I've placed it in a ceramic pot. So ceramic tends to hold a lot of water. So you don't have to overwater it. Be very careful uh, depending on what kind of pot you use. So if you use a terracotta pot, then uh, the water obviously oozes out through the pores of the uh, terracotta pot. But then ceramic and plastic is generally... Uh, uh, you know, it does not allow the water to evaporate from its uh, sides. So be careful about watering according to the pots that uh, station these plants. And then about uh, the soil, I have a mix of sand because I, uh, the, the Gerbera daisy, oh, especially when it is in a ceramic pot, requires a lot of drainage. Then I've also added garden compost as well as some topsoil. So these are the uh, soil requirements and then uh, about sunlight. So sunlight, uh, it, it generally prefers uh, part shade as in not fully full, no, not full sh fully shaded areas, but then part shade at least six, uh, at least five to six hours of sunlight, but indirect sunlight and not direct uh, uh, sunlight like you if you keep it on a terrace or something like that it does not generally like uh, the such conditions but i've seen some gerberas especially in kerala which has like really hot uh, summers i've seen them thrive in uh, full sun so i don't know but then uh, my gerberas do well uh, uh, near a west facing uh, patio so um, you know the leaves don't get burnt if uh, it is uh, in, in such conditions. If it is under full sunlight, then you can see the leaf actually burning. So that is not a good sign. And then the general uh, uh, problems of Gerbera daisy would be uh, aphids and uh, especially mealy bugs, which are very irritating. So I generally have uh, uh, an organic pesticide and I just spray it off. Uh, you can also use isopropyl alcohol and just or sprinkle it onto the affected area and uh, the mealy bugs will die so another common thing about gerbera daisy is that crown rot is very common unlike other plants uh, this shouldn't be uh, sunken deep into the soil because the crowns generally uh, have to be exposed because that that is where the you know the uh, from the crown is where the flower stalk comes so you can see so you can see a flower stalk coming there it's not very clear but then you can see a, a small bud kind of a structure so that is the flower stalk so generally crown rotting is a major issue so please be very careful about it it has to be exposed 